Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, uh, thanks so much. I really appreciate the support. Uh, it means a lot to the channel. We'll cook today. I'm going to do an unboxing on a couple of products I just got from Thermoworks. One of them is Signals. It's a wireless uh, remote thermometer. And the other one is a, uh, an accessory called Billows, which will sync up with this. And uh, it's a fan that uh, works with Weber Smoky Mountains or Weber Kettles um, so that you don't have to constantly be out there uh, adjusting the vents and everything to keep a consistent temperature. So I'll, I'll be back here in a sec. We'll get these unboxed and I'll show you what we get. This is the main unit. It's fairly simple. We get your four uh, channels here. It's got a magnet on the back. So it, uh, it's real easy to use. It's real easy to see. You just turn it on and it will work without uh, being plugged into AC except when you uh, are going to use the accessory billows uh, fan on it. So when you turn it on, we just go to channel. There's channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. For the uh, Billows fan to operate, it does need to be plugged into AC though. So to do that, we're gonna use the uh, AC cord provided. And then before we go any further, um, we're going to use the adapter that comes with the billows itself. So on the side, this comes with three standard meat probes like this. And it's kind of cool. They have little uh, grommets you can put on there that are color coded on both ends. And it comes with one ambient temperature sensor. So it's real important when we use this that this ambient temp sensor goes in port number four. Otherwise, the unit won't read it. So I'm going to take the meat probe and I'm, not and I'm just going to plug this one into port number one, put it into whichever one you want, and you can see it automatically starts to read the temp. Now it's time to hook up our billows attachment. And like I say, it needs to have power for that. So I'm going to move this out of the way a sec. And this is what you get with the billows. It comes with this dongle attachment. Uh, we have a port marked fan and a port marked power. So the way this is going to work is it comes with a cord. And we're going to plug one end of the cord into the port marked fan. Now I've got power running to the unit. I'm going to get the fan hooked up. So this is what the fan looks like. And it comes with some of this, some of this tape. And what you do is you cut this into whatever size you need to uh, cover the existing holes on your Weber Smoky Mountain or, or your kettle, whichever it may be. And you can also get adapters that doesn't come with this. So it'll work on a Kamada style grill, like a big green egg uh, or a Kamada Joe or whatever. What we're going to do now is plug the fan cord into the fan port and it's going to insert like so, fan down, so no moisture can get in. So now we have power. We have our probe reading 64 degrees. So now we're going to take our ambient temperature probe and I'm going to plug it into port number four right here. I have this now set at 250 degrees. If we want to change it, we just hit set. You want the alarm on or off. And then it goes to the temperature you want the fan to uh, keep the grill at. And then you can run it up 
There's 255. Or you can run it down, obviously. And then the ambient probe is going to communicate with channel number four uh, what temp it is. And the fan just turns on and off as needed uh, to keep the temp wherever you have it set. And okay, let's go over the setup I'm going to use on my uh, Weber Smoky Mountain for this cook. Uh, I have my uh, fire ring in, of course, and I've got some uh, good Jealous Devil uh, lump charcoal around here. I've left a little divot on the inside. I got a couple of pieces of applewood in here, so as this starts to burn, uh, we're going to get some nice smoke from that. And then I have one full chimney of charcoal. I'm going to get that lit. I'm going to pour it in the middle, and then it'll be uh, basically a minion method, and it'll slowly burn out. Um, I have this vent closed completely, this vent closed completely, and that's the vent that I'm going to plug the, the uh, billows fan into. Okay, so I just want to go over how easy this thing is to put in. So I've got the other three holes in my WSM covered with the tape that they provided. We just open it up. We're just going to pinch these wires together here like so stick it in like that and bingo that's all there is to it so it's, it's just that easy to get it out pull it out you're done want to replace uh, the protective cover and uh, there you go there's your billows uh, install and remove stay tuned i'll be back here in a minute Okay, so I know you can't hear that, but the fans, it sounds like a pellet grill. It's coming on, turning off, coming on, turning off. Got our work butt in there. I'm going to shut this lid real quick because I don't want to lose any of that nice smoke. Okay, I'm going to take a peek at this guy. It's been three hours. I have not looked at it. It's looking good in the neighborhood. I'm going to go ahead and spritz while I got it open here. This is just an apple cider vinegar and water 50-50 mix. And uh, obviously I have my temp probe in there. Uh, the meat temp's 127 degrees right now after three hours. So I'm going to get this shut back up. And there's one other thing I want to check while I'm out here. Is I want to see how the coals are doing. So after three hours, let me get my, oh yeah, we're doing good. Uh, you can see the, uh, the ones around the outside are the lump that I had, and they're just chugging away. Looking good. Okay, so uh, this video was not about the food, but this pork butt came out amazing. Uh, this was a seven pounder. Um, it ended up taking about 10 hours. So I'm going to give it the old bone test first. In theory, you want that to come out clean as a whistle, and it did. Wow. Look at that. So as I uh, kind of pull some of this apart, I always like to use my hands when I pull pork because you can kind of feel the little uh, globules of fat. And, uh, oh man, look at that. That is so juicy. So my experience with the Thermoworks smoke signals was really exceptional. Um, I wanted a multi-channel, oh my goodness, <laughs> that's just crazy. Uh, I wanted a multi-channel remote anyway for my stick burner and I ended up picking this thing up. It was a little spendy. Uh, I think it was $230 uh, for the unit and then uh, the good news is the billows which is the fan adapter uh, was only like 50 bucks. So uh, the two combined a little bit of an investment but I'm telling you I plugged that thing into my um, Weber Smoky Mountain and it just cruised along. Uh, rookie mistake number one, I didn't put enough charcoal in. 
and uh, my temps were low. I, I couldn't understand. The first three or four hours, it was running about 230 degrees, and I had it set it to 50. I put some more charcoal in there, and then it came right up to temp. Wow, look at that smoke ring on that thing. Crazy. Um, and then rookie mistake um, number two, actually maybe number one, I forgot to put tape over the other two holes in the uh, Weber Smoky Mountains daisy wheel that controls the airflow. So the first couple hours ran uh, with, with those open and honestly it did a pretty good job. Just getting a little bit more air than I think you would normally want. And, uh, ooh, the money muscle looks great. Wow. Um, once I got it settled in, it cruised along at right at 250 the whole time. And uh, I really couldn't be happier with it. It just did what it does. It's whisper quiet. And, and uh, yeah, so I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, if you're going to get a multi-channel remote, control anyway um, this thing is awesome so, so that's about all the meat got a nice little seven pounder here gonna take some to the neighbors so I'll leave it at that um, thanks so much for watching hopefully this information was useful to you uh, make sure you have enough charcoal in there uh, I would use lump uh, make sure you cover up the vent holes other than that you plug the thing in you turn it on and it just works so Thanks so much for watching. If you're so inclined, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you next time.